Uh, schools are going to be banned from letting pupils change gender if their parents oppose it in new guidance from Rishi Sunak. This, by the way, as a teacher, basically told a student she had to go to a different school after she, uh, after she, the, she discussed whether or not a girl could or could not identify as a, wait for it, a cat. This, as it emerges, that teachers are allowing pupils to identify as a dinosaur, a horse or even the moon and say, yes, we'll completely accept that and we will te treat that as if it's completely normal and has meaning, as opposed to completely insane and his child perhaps either having a laugh or perhaps needing severe help. Well, let's talk to Miriam Cates. She's a Conservative MP. She's also a member of the Education Select Committee and has been one of the people bravely speaking out on these issues for a number of years. Good morning to you, Miriam. Good morning, Julia. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Now, these are the sort of things, we see these stories, they appear online, they're on social media, and you sort of look at these and think, oh, God, these people are mad. And you, everyone has a bit of a chuckle because it is so crazy and it's the sort of thing, you know, you would laugh about as a parent. Oh, God, do you remember when little Johnny used to think that he was a dinosaur? That's funny. That used to mean a kid liking having a dinosaur costume or, or wearing a, you know, a Spider-Man costume or, or a little, you know, a little child thinking they were a fairy because they had a, you know, a tutu, mm. I think. But... But we're talking about here teachers and schools basically affirming children's fantasies, games, or sometimes serious delusions. This is actually much more serious than a lot of people think, isn't it? Absolutely. I think it's worth saying in that Telegraph article where they report about the, the girl who thinks she's a cat, they do say that there's been a lot of hype and it's not quite clear how widespread this belief of children being animals is. So yeah. I think we should say that. But clearly there are some obvious evidence cases that are in that. And then more widely, we know there are thousands of children who are identifying as the opposite gender um, to their to their birth sex. Um, you know, what's gone wrong? As you say, all children play, all children yeah. role play. It's a really important part of growing up. Uh, it's a part of forming empathy it's fun you know children pretend to be the opposite sex they yes. pretend to be animals they pretend to be you know characters from history and movies and things like that but the role of a parent and teacher is to say that's great but you know it's not real don't you or if the child yeah. asks the question is it real? no it's not real but it's great you have fun and i think we've got into a serious problems as a society really where we're frightened to say no to children or to tell children the truth and the later you leave it to tell a child the truth the more you allow them to believe the lie yeah. the more damaging the consequences later on when they do come into conflict with reality and like you say it is you know it's hard to believe that this is happening i know i mean that's the thing people think we've been making this stuff up for years why you gave oh you know you're just trying to stir up the culture wars no 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 we didn't want this we wanted kids to have normal happy lives i mean you mentioned this story again there's this teacher at a school in east Sussex in Rye reprimanded two year eight pupils for refusing to accept that one of their classmates identified as a cat. I mean, I mean, you know, <laughs> this, this is, I mean, this is the thing. They were basically saying, look, you know, if you, you if it's all caught on tape, you know, that basically that you should, you should go to a different school. Now, you know, that, that's an outrageous thing for any teacher to say to any people. I would say a disciplinary matter as well. So three and a half minute recording, the angry teacher who is not being named in the media said they report the girl to a senior colleague and she needed proper educational conversation about equality, diversity and inclusion uh, because the, the, the girl basically refused to accept um, that, that, you know, that, that, that a classmate could identify as a cat. The teacher said, um, how dare you? You just really upset someone saying things like you should be in an asylum. Are probably not that helpful. The girl said, but year eight, I mean, you know, 12 year old. The girl says, I didn't say that. I just said, if they want to identify as a cow or something, then they're genuinely unwell and they're crazy. The teacher is on tape saying, you were questioning their identity. Where did you get this idea from that there are only two genders? At which point the pupil says, I just said my opinion. If I can respect their opinion, can't they respect mine? The teacher insists there are lots of genders and then links her views as to being homophobia, saying it's not an opinion. If you don't like it, you need to go to a different school. Um, now, this is the thing. The girl is actually incredibly making calm, rational, yeah. reasonable, fact-based arguments and is being reprimanded by, frankly... I would say a trans activist, I, you know, political ideologist teacher who frankly has no business. I mean, if a teacher spoke to my kid like that, the idea she'd have a job on Friday uh, ain't going to happen. I mean, this is outrageous that children are being told they can't express what are, well, what until three or four years ago were considered to be completely normal yeah. opinion. 
Yeah, I mean, there's so much to unpick in this. Clearly, that teacher is not well informed about these issues or indeed the law. Um, but, you know, and hopefully that is an edge case, but, but who knows? But, you know, there's a lot to unpack here. Yes, of course, in a democracy and in schools, people should be allowed to express their opinions. And it's great in a democracy that we can have diverse yeah. opinions and argue about it. But we do need some sort of common understanding of reality. Uh, and I don't think it's OK to say, well, if children want to transition, they can if children yeah. want to change their pronouns they can other people can refuse to if they can i don't think that's enough no. because i think it's fundamentally not based on the reality of there are two biological sexes no society ever in history has allowed a generation of children to grow up thinking that biological sex doesn't matter that they can change sex we have no idea of the consequences of that it is a psychological intervention and we shouldn't be doing it it's fine to express opinions it's fine to talk about these things but i do think we have to draw a line somewhere and that is the difference between reality and ideology. 100%. Just every word, every word. Miriam Cates, thank you for standing up on this. If you could just persuade the government to do a little bit more of that, that would be nice. Tory MP, a member of the Education Select Committee.